Okay, welcome back everybody. Today is gonna to be a really fun video and that is because I'm breaking in my brand new sketchbook and I'm bringing you along. So get comfy, get a cup of tea and enjoy some ideas and inspiration about how to break in your sketchbook as well as a nice time lapse because we all love those. The sketchbook I chose was a moleskin classic plain page journal. If you guys have watched my bullet journaling video, which I'll link below, you'll know that I love moleskin journals. So my first inspo tip is to reuse and recycle, which basically means to collect mags, tags, and rags, which also <laughs> means that uh, whenever I get a birthday card or when I go to a shop and there's a free brochure, or if there's old clothing or something that I can use in an artwork, I keep it in a drawer in my studio. Like I always try and find a use for the papers that other people might just throw away. So in the front page of my journal, I'm just doing a quick little collage -y kind of thing, which brings me to my next point, which is to work in limitations. And that's something I really love about collage. It's that rather than being faced with a blank page that you have no idea what to do with, you already have something to work from. And the nice thing about collage is that you can try and say something. And that's my next point. Rather than just focusing on aesthetic, sometimes I like to take a step back and actually try and give a message through my art. In the speech bubbles, it says, are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2, which is a direct quote from Bananas in Pajamas. If you lived in Australia as a kid, you'll know exactly what I'm referring to. My next tip is to mix up your mediums a bit. Personally, I am most comfortable using graphite pencils and I've also been doing a lot of digital work recently, like 90% digital work, but I just wanted to try something new. So I did a mixed media painting with some oil pastels and some acrylics and I just let it flow. I wasn't trying to be too particular or too realistic like I usually am. I love mixed media artworks and it's something that I wanna get better at. So if there's a particular artist that you like or a mixed media style that you're into, Try and replicate it. Obviously you don't have a canvas to work with, but you know, see how your paper goes. Hopefully the pages are thick enough. And if not, hey, there's no mistakes in art, right? Everything's beautiful, everything's a lesson. Art is a process, not a product. Okay, that's not entirely true. Art is also a product, but the point of a sketchbook is to work on your process and not worry too much about the outcome and just learn to enjoy it and to embrace all the mistakes this sketchbook is for you and for you alone to be able to document where you've come from, understand your art style and understand yourself better. And I think that is a beautiful, worthwhile, wholesome thing to do in this crazy society in which we live to just ground ourselves in our sketchbooks and make some good old art. So with the leftover paint, I decided to blob it on the page basically and eventually it sort of turned into a face shape. Later on, I decided to go in with a ink pen and trace over it and try and make a bit of a face out of it, which is uh, my next tip to try and beautify chaos. You know, just put some random watercolor splashes on the page, do what I've done and do some acrylic blobs or do some scribbles. Whatever strikes your fancy, doesn't matter. Just get loose and then try and turn those loose strokes into something. Think outside the box a bit. Well, really it's the definition of creativity, right? To, to try and turn something into something else. I think that's just really good for the right hemisphere of your brain. All right, the next idea I have is sort of similar actually, because you're turning something into something else by filling in the blanks. So you can get half of a magazine cut out like I've got here, which is just the top of a photo. I've actually lost the rest of it. You could get half of a face and try and fill in the other half. You could, look, the sky is the limit. Basically get half of an image or a portion of an image and just fill in the rest of it. See where your imagination takes you and try and do something that's a little bit different to maybe what would have existed. Maybe something a little bit more audacious or out of the box than I did. <laughs> maybe instead of a normal township, you could paint the town melting, or maybe you could paint uh, the edge of a new planet. Just go for it. Now, if you're an artist and you've been in the business or the hobby for long enough, you will understand artist block and you will understand burnout and you will hopefully understand the importance of taking a break. So that's what I did when breaking in this sketchbook and making this video. I sort of ran out of creative juice. So I went to bed and then came back the next morning to my beautiful studio, sun streaming in. I just feel so lucky to have this space and continued. 
So the final idea I want to share with you is to try out a new style. For me, this is a real challenge because I am very used to drawing in a realistic way where I just kind of copy what's on the page. So exaggerating certain elements or drawing more cartoonish or just in my own style has always been a challenge. And some great advice I heard was actually in a video by Struthless, who suggested that if you want to find your art style, spend 30 days drawing the exact same thing. And he said that his example was drawing an ibis, or in Australia we call them bin chickens. And he said that that limitation he put on himself really forced him to figure out his style because he got pretty bored of it pretty quickly. Anyway, I'll link that video below if you're curious and you're struggling to find your own art style because it was really helpful to me. I really hope that some of these tips inspired you and that you enjoyed this slightly different style video to what I normally make. Um, if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out with the algorithm and all that jazz. And subscribe to this channel for more videos about art, lifestyle, finding your purpose and productivity and everything in between. Love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.